Iya, udah nih yang reggae. Leo. Welcome to the Nordic Pirates. I'm Raven from Norway. Uh, you seem to get the bonus of all the couple reads I did uh, this summer. Uh, Leo hit the most, so you get the bonus all to yourself. Um, so uh, there's also, I recommend you if you're interested in runes, and um, learning how to use them and what they symbolize. You can check out my rune read. Uh, it was recently uploaded a couple of days ago. Uh, so what we will do now is a general energy check on uh, love. <clears throat> Hope you can hear me uh, on love, on um, money, power, murder sex, drugs, uh, bitches, alternative realities, all things fun that Lee will, uh, you know, the king of the zodiac will enjoy. Uh, okay, so let's just stick to a general read. Okay, okay, okay. We can't get it all at once, can we? But we can have patience. So I'm going to let the cards decide what we're up against uh, and as always I prefer to use the, um, the zodiacs, the zodiacs, the astrology to start with. Uh, today however we have a Guinness card. Uh, they are called uh, Oracle of Light, the White Oracle of Light. And behind here you have a very, very beautiful cat. Very, very beautiful cat. So, the little Leo I have in me, basically my main planets in your house, a couple of other placements, makes me proud to be a little bit of a Leo in my chart. Because cats, hmm. Lions are ruled by the sun, but cats, they come from Venus, normal house cats. So this, this uh, cat here is dedicated to uh, the, the Egyptian goddess named Bast or Bastet. She's the fertility goddess. So this is your main route for the theme of today. Maybe something you need to work on. Uh, the healing is 174th hearse. Hers. So I'm going to try myself to, to play this and see what happens. I played some hers last night regarding astral projection and I woke up actually depressed. So you have to be a little bit careful with what you play in the background. It could also be that I had a computer too close to my head so I get that radiation. Uh, but cats, cats, cats. We love cats. So uh, you're a big cat. Many of you love smaller cats, but uh, this will be your beginner card. Also, we had a couple of dropouts. Um, and you, my darling, you come out as the quite elegant magician. I can't say anyone there. The, the cards must be a couple of months old now and then. They're adorable. You're trying to manifest something and while you do this, you're juggling. So there's lots of stuff going on right now, maybe because it's summer. This magician, however, seems like there is some love going on here. If you notice all the roses and that stuff. So we will have a look. Uh, the cards will decide what is more important, if it's love, if it's money, if there's something, me mental health issues, all these kinds of things. Note that we are signed up as entertaining, so if you have severe issues regarding health, economy and all these things, you need to talk to the professionals. I am only here for entertaining and in a little bit inspiration in between the lines, okay? Never, 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 ever make the tarot make the decision for you, but they can help you 
to to come up with ideas you never thought about before as to being creative and in, in other words it's a nice story isn't it so we're going to begin with some good old-fashioned astrology that we know okay mm. I could say I have way too many cards but that would be lying <laughs> Uh, there is no such thing as too many cards. So show me the energies for Leo this summer. Great spirit. Thank you. Thank you, great spirit, for everything you provided us with. Thank you, great spirit. Oh, I have to sneeze. Great, great, great. Mm. Show me the energies of the Leo this summer, last one. Show me the energies of the Leo. Last one. So I'm going to turn the cards eventually so you never know what comes up and upgrades all that stuff. So yes, we started to read the cards in all directions. Okay, are you ready? So the first card here would be your path, the pathless path, your ascension path. So wherever you have your ascendant, this would be the energy, collective read of course, running through you right now. You might feel the you might feel affected by it. So we have Sagittarius in reverse. Oof. Okay, less card on the table next time. Uh, you have water. Hmm. You have Jupiter reversed. You have Luna in reversed. What does that mean? What does that mean? Raven, tell me. Yes. And you have Mercury upright. So we've got you. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, Asnant, Sol, Mona, Mercury, and one more. Cancerian energy. And in your bottom surprise kind of energies, you have Virgo in reversed. Uh, so that could be something in your subconscious field that you are. Um, you could be repulsed by something. There could be some energy of feeling disorganized. That could also be. Um, obsession with cleaning maybe you have a moon position in virgo something like this it can go anything from obsessive cleanliness to details uh, you could also come out as shallow if it's too much it, it could be disorganization also everything that that you would lack in in this one but this would be in your subconsciousness it could be some kind of chaos going on in your subconscious level that you're not aware of and uh, let's have a look um sagittarius in your path is in reversed so right now it i wouldn't say it's really time for you to plan if you feel that you know if you already have ordered the plane ticket to Kambodja or wherever you want to go I, I'm not going to sit here and say don't go but if you're thinking about it uh, I will have a look at the moon and, and the conjunctions and all these things and make sure just look over all the paperwork and these things to, to make sure that everything is in order before I do that long journey um if you want to to study things it could be that there is some lack of concentration regarding higher learning maybe you feel that your spiritual path is somehow blocked uh, with the sagittarian energy sagittarian energy is very in and out i know a few leos who've got sagittarius ascendant uh, and they are travelers 
uh, one of them that travels full time. He's got it on the ascendant. He travels full time with, of course, Virgo moon. So he doesn't come out as a, as very, you know, super down to earth. But when you get to know him under the skin, he's quite picky and quite organized. And uh, when you see him, he come out as the traveling hippie. In reality, his past is a uh, got a higher education within the economy. So don't judge a book by your covers. So yeah, just like Pisces, Sagittarius could also be uh, the hippies uh, among, you know, the backpackers and, and priests, not to mention priests, spiritual leaders um, in the chart. And so right now it is in reverse. Remember, this is just one out of probably hundreds of reads on the YouTube. So you take it as it resonates. Uh, in your sun sign right now, place this water. Uh, maybe you have progressed your, I mean, that's not possible. Uh, you have the Leo, you have the Virgo, you have the Libra. No, you will never in your life progress into water, just like I would never progress into uh, Aquarius. Uh, each sun uh, sign is in each sign for 30 years so <laughs> but uh, you could have uh, something that uh, planet uh, progressive in in your sun sign right now that look at the progressive chart uh, really means that you're very emotional right now affected maybe by the moon very affected by Neptune which is uh, the exalted planet because when um, Leo ascends you uh, become the Christ consciousness you are exalted in Neptune which is the, the original Christ consciousness and so for Leo right now, you could maybe have, you know, a strong aquatic placement. It seems like you are very emotional and uh, you could drag deep uh, things down from the deep and you, your, your senses, your intuition are very sharpened. Um, moon, Jupiter, Jupiter. On the moon placement, I never get Jupiter. I only know that it's the lucky planet. It's the big boss. I suspect that is also the one night god, simply because it seems very logical from the shape of the planet and the patterns. Um, it's here with an eagle. It's the one that sees. It's the big boss in the sky. Uh, it is actually the largest planet we have and when Jupiter comes uh, it, it brings luck. Uh, Sagittarius ruled by Jupiter. In this case, in your emotional field, it is coming out in reverse. So there is something, I feel that there could be some kind of an emotional disappointment here. Especially since on your mind this read is very emotional actually, so you're trying to manifest something, maybe something is worrying you, you're worried about something, distressed about something, because here um, the moon on your mind is emotions, there are some secrets that maybe came out um and that it, they they worry you they they make you emotional maybe they are stagnating your plans for for travel maybe they are stopping up many things but this read is almost like i would read for a pisces or something because it's very emotional and some some energy here feels weakened somehow uh, i mean secrets coming out something you maybe recently have learned that comes to your mind some it's about communication also talking about communicate i mean communi communicate about emotions maybe not too easy and here in the path regarding your love you have mercury so for you now it seems like love it could be on your mind. It could be on your mind. The rest of the cards will show. But right now, love is something, there's something you need to talk about 
regarding love. I believe this is the son of Venus. Am I right? Um, and, and so communication here. This guy are allowed down all the way to Hades. And all the way up to the sky. And so Mercury is placed there. So either you have um, Mercury, you know, placed in the seventh house. Could be. Uh, but, but there is something here regarding some emotions, something you maybe emotional disappointment, and there is this energy here of communication regarding love. Maybe love is not what you have on your mind at all uh, right now, that's what we will see. However, uh, this seems to make more and more sense now as a healing card with 174 hertz uh, uh, showing up as cat which is from Venus so maybe that's exactly the energy you need because you are trying to manifest something here maybe you're making you know okay this ain't working out I'll stumble up upon something that makes sense to me um, in your, path, in your path of action or passion, you have the Cancerian energy. I know the exact same person I just told you about what has Mars and Cancer. And this individual just loved to, to, to travel everywhere, but to when he purchased the van and he could live within the van, uh, he was so happy. There is also someone else you're looking at right now who's got Mars in Cancer. And I too, I love to love to travel, yeah, but I always love to, to make a nest wherever I am and make it cozy and make it nice. Um, and instead of going to war towards something or someone, I prefer to isolate myself first. Uh, and so I'm untouchable until the storm has been stilled. Uh, but but Mars is also placed in the first house, so so I always have something up my sleeve. But Mars here in this placement likes to isolate themselves, so it could be that some of you guys need to get out of your couch, get out in the sun. Some of you might be a little bit depressed right now. Things are not going the way they're supposed to do. We will have a small look and see what's popping up in the rest of your chart. The big guys. Yeah, there they are. So usually when I'm doing Leo reads, usually they are initiated. You can almost start to see that I'm actually using them. <laughs> so mostly exclusive, exclusive to, to the Leo reads I do because they are golden. Mm. So I just, I have just shuffled them. So no need to ravish them. So in your path uh, regarding Sagittarius, it's something you stop waiting for. That could be the disappointment. Someone stopped waiting for you. You don't seem to, you know, you, it was like you were going somewhere. And uh, that energy is drained here. Uh, on the water placement, you have the Hermit in reversed. So you have you might have been isolated for a while, but something is coming out. Hermit should be Cancerian energy uh, for some reason. I'll check the esoteric tarots, what they say about it. Hmm. And um, here is the hermit. Here is the hermit. Hermes Virgo energy coming out. But very emotional. Here you are. Here you are, beautiful Leo. Man or woman, does not matter. They are no gender specific. So your moon. Something unlucky, something disappointed emotionally. 
deep down there where there's a lot of water there was a disappointment someone could have left or something left or you know there's this but you still rule look at the cat here talk to you about cat energy here you're still wonderful you're still the charming one you're still the one people wants to talk to and you're still the one people wants attention from this one La Reina de Palos. It's a different name on each card. You are, the, you are the Queen of Wands. Emotionally, you are still the Queen of Wands. And remember that this is this is a Leo card, Aries card, and Leo. The Lion's Gate is the symbol of true love, ruled by the Sun that gives life unconditionally love in the lunar field something came out and there was a wounded warrior and seems like this ain't wounded no more it's something that is behind you maybe you're starting to slowly recover mercury on the path of your heart. Ooh, you're dealing with a Scorpio. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio, or some someone have a Scorpio placement in your chart, or someone are dealing with a very intense individual. Talking about emotions here. Scorpios are good at usually listen and there are you know those a few those Scorpios who likes to talk a lot depending on where Mercury is placed some of them are both but Mercury perhaps some of you also have Mercury in Scorpio and if that's the case or Mercury in eighth house if that's the case you will have the ability to become a detective, a detector, someone who detects things, someone who have a very uh, strengthened intuition and come out as very, you know, you can work within, you know, spy organizations or something like that. You're someone who can easily find out if someone, if someone are lying to you or trying to deceive you. So, being all Leo, shiny and golden and all that. But in the heart path there, there could be someone here who's either here now for you. They look very lovingly and caringly, but also remember it is a Scorpio. They don't, however, they do have the Pisces around the neck here. So the Scorpios are very loving. They're very loyal uh, until, until. They change their mind and they change their mind then for a reason. And if you notice, he also have a womb with him. And remember that uh, Scorpios are ruled by a planet of fire, which is Mars. So that is why Leos and Scorpios very often are best friends their entire life. They, they match very well together, but usually both of the signs need to let go of the ego and give the other one space. And it goes very well actually with Scorpio and Leo together because Scorpio is not too fan of attention. Leo is fan of attention. So having a Scorpio in your back to, to you know, even to be your agent if you are one of those who are not afraid of the camera that then Scorpio is great to have it back. Just don't steal credit from the work Scorpio has done. That you will regret. <laughs> mm, but Scorpios and Leo, when they work well together, you're both intelligent, you're both wise. A Scorpio-Leo relationship can last uh, out the life. I've played with Leos my entire life. 
and for some reason you always make me laugh and uh, maybe it's because I have my planets in your house and the other friend I talked to you about we're still friends after all these years he's got all, he's got all his Leo planets in my house eighth house so fun yes there is something here regarding your regarding taking action uh, clarify that is there is a loss here there is a loss here so in the beginning in in the bottom here you have Sagittarius energy something very in and out um, ain't working not working maybe working um, let's just have a quick check on what happened in your past just a quick check so i'll take this back in case they come double because that can happen so what happened okay thank you great spirit okay hmm. you do have the wheel of fortune and don't you dare forget that remember that you have the wheel of fortune here in between those beautiful animals that one i haven't opened for you you have to wait till the end of the read before you know what's behind there that's a power 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 um card for you okay so what uh, is in the path now of leo do you have leo show me any obstacles what are the obstacles of leo right now too much yeah we all have too much okay so thank you great spirit uh, Leo you have a lot to carry ten of ones here but you're almost there there is this energy of something of justice here that will be served but there's also an offer here that maybe was what disappointed you that it's not coming in um, Leo again this is the third time you get Sagittarius, something regarding Sagittarius energy, uh, representing in general, not necessarily Sun Sagittarius, Moon Sagittarius, but someone who are very full of passion. They want to travel, they want to do this, they want to do that. They could be very young, maybe in their 30s, um, but they are very in and out. But they belong to fire so Sagittarius and Leo can go very well together but the difference is that Sagittarius they want to spread their loins all over the world they want to travel a lot while Leo is fixed so Sagittarius areas better just my personal experience but I'm not saying that is the ultimate truth but from my experience a Leo pure Leo uh, you're elevated in Neptune when you become truly spiritual you could actually do pretty well with Pisces I know it sounds strange but you could actually you could just a hunch but I might be wrong but a hunch and also Cancerians they love to fiddle and diddle uh, Virgo also and Libra in particular Libra is one of the dream partners for for um, Leo you both like to throw a party uh, you know and you know, different ways of doing it and together you're just boom so what's in your path right now? Yes, coming back here, coming back. Am I shuffling strange or something because you're coming back here with the mage, 
the, the juggling with the coins and there's also this energy of investing your energies here and uh, a lot of patience needed so this coming out is very strong and it's it's like mm, you feel maybe right now that it is difficult for you that it sorry for the hicks uh, but it's <laughs> the burden the burden you're nearly there whatever it is show me what happened in the past show me what happened in the past okay a book i'll read your book as soon as i have glasses so i can read the cards too queen of swords so someone had to put their foot down or enough enough i do not accept this enough yeah uh again sagittarius energy here um you had to make the choice some of you oh my god Oh my god, you have your soulmate here. Some of you could have strong, for those of you who have strong earth in your chart, you have your soulmate or so called twin flame in this read. They're coming up, up like this. And some of you literally had to make a choice between this Sagittarius and a twin flame. This is his message for those of you, again, who have a strong, very significant earth position. Okay? So this is one specific message for some of you. And then we have this making a choice. Because this, the temperance is also about patience, about clarifying your energies, about alchemy, about processing energies, about advancing into a higher level of spirituality and then exalted in Scorpio, which is then an eagle. Complicated? Not so much. Not so much. But have you got yourself? You're not just a queen of wands. You're not just a king of wands. Uh, and so remember that you can inhabit all the qualities of all the kings and all the queens, depending on your energy of uh, wisdom, experience, intelligence, blah blah blah, and therefore you become the emperor or the hierophant, or you have the high priestess or the empress. Making a choice could be making a choice. I don't know. I can't. I could clarify each and every card, and then we will never be fin card, and then we will glitch into another reality so check the recent path check the recent path past sorry check the recent past great spirit show me the recent past show me the, okay that was a lot mm -hmm. okay so there was some grief but in the recent past the cards tells me that some of you Got over it. Finally. The world here is coming out in reverse, however, so there is something here that isn't quite finished anyway. We do see that there are some emotional disturbances, there are some disappointments. Um, the world here tells me that some of you ain't done yet. You can come out as, you know, the grief is over, but this, you know, you could have been a victim to someone. There is this energy of mind games here, someone could have played you, could have been your own soulmate here with Caballero de Oros. 
Mm. So remember, not all the stories, uh, the side stories are here for you. Uh, some of them, you know, there are, as you can see, different messages here, different Leos. I know Leos, I, I know so many Leos, I can't name you. I, I, can, I think I can count the Capricorns I know on one hand with Leos. <laughs> you are the love of my life. <laughs> um, so Leo. Something disappointed you and uh, there was this offering here that someone withdrew. It could have been you. You realize that someone are playing you. Uh, there's a burden here and in the recent past and now it's, you know, it's time to let go. Um, and then there's this player here. This Sagittarius energy could, you know, doesn't have to be Sagittarius, but someone of fire, someone who's mutable, someone who changed their mind a lot. One day they want this, next day they want that. They say one thing and they do another. It's not necessarily because they're deceptive, it's just because they're immature. And the difference between Leo and Sagittarius is that Leo's got fixed energy. You are capable of channeling it fixed. You're, you're capable of containing your energy. Sagittarius are not. They're shooting in all kinds of directions. They are brilliant athletes and runners. So I'd say let them run. Until they grow old. Uh, my mother, she's got Scorpio moon. So she's capable of containing her emotions and staying loyal to the one she loves. But when she's angry, well, the arrows are going in all directions. You also have here five of coins in the recent path, past. I'm sorry. English is my third language. So sometimes I, I'm sorry. Just say, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do think I, my English sounds so great. And then a Norwegian word or a Spanish word, whatever comes in and mess up with my head a little bit. Sorry for that. Past. Now, uh, what's crowning your energy, Leo? I'm also, I also promised you to do short reads. Seems like I'm incapable of doing that. I like to dig, I like to dig, I like to dig deep. I'm a Scorpio, I dig deep, I dig down to China. So what's crowning the energy is here. Is six of cups and two of wands. So there are these passionate energy that are going in two different directions here. One is maybe more Oh, I'm alone, unicorns. The other one is more down to earth and, and they love each other. They're, they're stuck on each other in one way or another. The six of clubs, you've known each other for a long time. But, but there are two different directions here. Raining this energy. So some of you have met someone that you've known for a very long time and you were forced to make a choice. Why don't I have any kitty visiting me now? He's offended because I don't have any candy for him slash her. Uh, he hasn't got, doesn't got any balls, so I say it's a girl. House Lord says it's a guy, and I'm like no, but got, doesn't have balls. <laughs> Beautiful anyway. Mm. So in your. <clears throat> near future you have could be some kind of a uh, possible reunion that you have planned it happening it happening uh, it could be um, because you are you have the recent the five of coins here so someone left you out in the cold or you you could have left someone else out in the cold but it seems like to go both ways uh i don't know if this was your soulmate 
maybe you've known this soulmate for a very long time or, or you know you, you have to choose between passion which could be the Sagittarian or or what, what's what's someone you know that's your soulmate for your entire life and you know sometimes passion can override the entire uh, brain function and and make it make your intelligence collapse because it's all it wants to do is to reproduce and I feel so much passion it must be true love in reality it's just a brain collapse <laughs> So, yeah, well, as you understand, I'm not a fan of marriage, although I sometimes just go with it. Yeah, sure, sure, you're married. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. But trust me, why do you need this piece of paper for? So, this meeting ain't gonna happen, Leo. And uh, maybe that's fine because you ain't invited. But you know, you're not just the queen of coins, you're not just the queen of wands. You're not just the mage, you're also the queen of swords. So you say, fuck it. Fuck it. You just... You think I'll be offended? After all, I am the queen here. Wanna play me? Fine. But in the end... I will always be the Leo. The sun is my ruler. What's your ruler? Leo. Throw around on your blonde little curls, will you? For me, Leo. After all, you guys, you blinked half my hand. You're full of bling. Okay, so let's check out the external energies. Ha! Well, do you know? There you are. You are the Empress. You're looking around you. There's someone here, I, I, I sniff jealousy because when, when someone are turning, when in one person is turning the back towards you or the other way around you turn your back towards someone because this ain't working blah 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 I've been there it was one guy when I was 19 and I said to him sorry but I, I, I'm not into you and he managed to turn all my friends against me so I was in five of coins until I decided, okay, let's hook up and go on a few dates then so I can have my friends. This is how much of a loser I've been in there. But you ain't that. If I knew back then what I do know now that I would know that these people ain't my friends either. And nor is one guy who has to manipulate everything just because you don't want to screw him. Goes, go, goes for both genders, yeah? You have to manipulate people. Because, uh, oh, you, 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 you're hurt because someone rejects you. But they reject you from the right reason because they're not in love with you. Respect that. Or you, or, or, you, or you know, if you reject this Sagittarius, I, I, <laughs> I'm on your side. I was, uh, you know, they gave birth to me and I know how they wired up. Trust me, I left my home when I was 15. Mom's great, you're great, but living with you? Fucking nightmare. <laughs> so yes. Ah, oh, we are what we are. So, Leo, you became very silent. Oh, there you are. Talking about silent. There you are. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. 
a history book, history channel. Okay. Seems like you have a journey ahead after all. You're ready for the journey. Just remember what I told you, but it could be an actual person who, who is making you changing your mind whether you should go to the left or to the right. Yeah? There is a journey here. Maybe you feel like traveling here. There's a lot of sparrows here flying in one direction with a sword in the claw. Pictures are so strange. Uh, three of coins. There's something, a project that you might have been putting to the side. So join the club. I'm with you. I'm with you the whole way so far. Uh, there was a heartbreak here. You're over it. Woman slash man. You own. Whoever you are out there in the world, you got this. <laughs> mm, what do we have here? Victory, Jupiter and Leo. The victory, if you don't feel it yet, you have it. Six of Wands. It's the victory. That's what you're after and that's what you want. And... Uh, well, the Emperor who chose to mess with you, well, he's naked and he's upside down. Hmm. That's his loss, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. And uh, whatever confrontation that someone uh, wants to take upon themselves, well... Not only are you the Queen of Swords now, but you are, after all, the Empress. They can come and tell you whatever they want. And yeah, yeah, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> mm. Well, now it's tea time. <laughs> Sticky, you, you. James, will you show them out, please? God's sake, you're the King, you're the Queen. <laughs> Not to be messed with, Leo. You take this as the queen. Remember who you are. Get out of your couch. We do not feel sorry for ourselves. You're over this, this heartbreak. Whatever you think is a heartbreak. Oh yes, you're getting out of those eight of swords. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I don't even have to investigate far into understanding what's going on here. No, that is the general story and all those things for those of you who are married and waiting a baby right now and feel fine by that. Look somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's check what obstacles Leo have right now. Uh, I will use a different deck because... Yeah, if you read tarot, you know why. <laughs> Okay, so what is in your obstacle right now? What obstacle does Leo have right now? Okay, uh, it seems like this pushing away your project to the side I know how that feels, so can I just tell you how <clears throat> this project, whatever project it is that you have, it is important to you, okay? It is mo far more important to you than you're aware of, because this project, if you intend, there's only 1% who can make it, make it big, very big. You can make, you can understand the economical and entrepreneurship advice as I give or whatever project you have going on. It says said you have all the capac ca capac capacity to, to succeed. But do not put it in your closet too long. If nothing happens in your life, if, if you, you know, if you, put no meaning to your life. If you don't tint the water, it will taste like nothing. Healthy? But sometimes we need to give life meaning in order to 
make it valuable for us. I know many of you readers out there and, and people who come to the channel, some of you are homesick because you know we are not from here. And so it feels meaningless to be here, but know this, that it will be over very soon. Our life here is much shorter than you think. The moment you are about to close your eyes forever, will it always be the same? No, that moment is when you understand that, wow, the entire life was just a glimpse of a moment. Feel so long. And I, and I don't think I would wait for this uh, guy here or girl, this, this night of um, night. Someone had moved very, very slow towards you. Maybe he was a part of your project, was going to help you with your project, you know? And he's moving so slow that it's not looking good. Don't wait for him. Move on. Give me an advice for this... For this um, great spirit. Give me an advice. This was your love. Now it's coming up in reverse for the second time. There is a baby you have, like... A project, something very beautiful. Some of you might be talented artists, singers. You can have brilliant ideas with the hemisphere you are ruled by left or the right. Uh, just, there is brilliance here. And you need to take care of that as your baby in order to give life meaning. Uh, and do not give all of you to, to some kind of in and out love, passion kind of thing. Uh, the true love in your life is what you create. Either your child or your project. If there isn't someone of opposite sex or, or same sex or whatever who, who wants to come before your soul, uh, your soul mission here on earth, either they will help you to improve yourself or they are in your way. A true soulmate will enhance who you are and the project you are doing. Either it's artwork, whatever. A fake soulmate? They want all the attention and so you get nothing done. And maybe you even devalue yourself, or, you know, because something of they say, whatever. This is not. There is someone here who refused to, to let go. Could be, you know, if, even the Sagittarius can have problem letting you go. If they're breadcrumbing you, they know, I have, I have Leo right there. I'll breadcrumb her or he. I'll breadcrumb them so I know they're there when I come back. They've all fallen for that, you know. <laughs> I've been young too. And when people try this on me as an adult. They wouldn't do it if they know what I have up my sleeve. Mm -hmm. Luckily, you guys who knows me that well and sneaking right here, you know that I'm very patient. Okay, so we have deception here. Someone have keeping you stuck, Leo. Someone who had a lot of options. And they've been deceiving you, keeping you in the dark. And so your project gets... You just look at it with disappointment. What do we have here? Hmm. There's someone who's jealous with you. 
Someone's slandering and talking crap behind your back. There's another empress. One who wants to be the empress, but who is not the empress. Who is in reality everything opposite of the empress. They want to be like you. But they're not. They're not. Um, in the bottom of the card shows that there was a deception here. You might have seen right through it, Leo, with your little Scorpio eye hair, whatever you have. You have a lot of water influencing you right now and that is enhancing your instincts, basically. So, let's find your possible outcomes, Leo. This read got me carried away carried away it seems like this thing does not just happen to Scorpios happens to the king and the queens of the zodiac as well breadcrumbing making you feel like you're less than you are making you wait for nothing putting your projects away to the side maybe they will come if I do this if I do that maybe they will value me maybe they will love me more I don't know who this is if it's a friendship but your soulmate is here got to go do an extra read on this soulmate uh, energy here but I think you know better than me Leo only the feedback will decide. I work from algorithms from now on. So I don't... I'm taking good care of my time. Taking good care of my time. Okay. So I hope you can hear me well. See here. Okay. So four possible outcomes for Leo. Four possible outcomes and also advices they will be uh, almost an hour that's perfect show me four possible outcomes for Leo show me four possible outcomes for Leo 